everybody, Brandy Mahon here from Stamp Me Some Love. We are back with our evening live stream, day two of the Cardmaker Success Summit. And we have the one and only Daniel West coming up next, representing uh, Colorado Craft Company, one of our favorite sponsors. I'm so excited. I saw him doing this backstage. So maybe he can uh, grace us with his moves on stage. <laughs> All right, without further ado, I'm going to bring him to the stage. Hello, my friend. Hello, Brandy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. Good to see you, too. Yes. So um, I, I want to uh, start out by saying that, you know, since I've met you, I guess it was the first summit um, back last year in July, I have just really wanted to meet you in person, person, and I just really wanted to meet you. And, well, it looks like we're going to meet in person sometime in September, I believe. Yep. And I think we're going to be doing a live craft along, aren't we? What's maybe, this? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> So I thought it would be fun if we could put it out to the audience to see if you guys can come up with a fun name for our lives. So I'm going to be in Daniel's craft room sometime at the end of September. I'm going to be going to Rhode Island, Island to visit a, um, my niece who is at the Providence Ballet up there. She's a professional ballerina. And I asked... Um, Daniel, if I could come visit him in his craft room, and he graciously said yes. Yeah. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it live, and we were just thinking that we need to come up with a great name, and I thought, well, maybe our audience members can help us come up with a name for that live. So if you've got an idea, put it in the chat below, and um, if we pick your name, we may have something special for you. So. All right, my friend, I'm going to let you have center stage so you can show us what you're going to be showing us from Colorado Craft Company. Hello, hello. Thank you, Brandy. I'm so excited for your visit. I really don't know that I've met anybody in person like here. Well, I've never had any of my crafty friends uh, in my office for a live. So that's really exciting. And I've only met in person a few friends, uh, crafty friends. It's really weird. It's something I do virtually, but I haven't gotten to hug anyone's neck. So not too many anyway. So I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited. And I'm honored that Brandy wants to meet me in person. That's a big deal to me. That's very sweet. So I'm excited about that. Uh, so tonight we are uh, showing off goodies from Colorado Craft Company. I am the unofficial spokesman. For Colorado Craft Company, I'm not CCC, but I do a lot of uh, spokespersoning for them. So, uh, mostly because, you know, I have this amazing face that they like uh, to show off. So, <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> they all have amazing faces, but they're a little more timid than I am. I was raised uh, showing off in public with my dad. So, it's... I've never been shy. So I'm going to put my camera down here and let you guys see what I'm looking at. Oh my, what's this beautiful panel I've created? So exciting. So nice. Let's put my handsome face up here so you don't miss it up there in the corner. And look at this. This is um, an ink blended panel. I've listed all the supplies for you guys in the description box description box in the supplies list for tonight's live so that you guys have easy access for it and colorado craft company carries these inks from katherine pooler so if you want to get some of these and buy the goodies from colorado craft company you can also do that at the same place pretty cool huh so uh, I'm, I just grabbed a bunch of these inks. These are the, the jewel tone inks from the party collection. They're very deep, dark, beautiful colors, saturated colors. And then I have one that's not in there. It's not in the jewel tone family. Uh, it's called flirty fuchsia, super nice color as well. And I made several panels off camera because I wanted them to be dry 
so we could do some heat embossing on them. Catherine Pooler's inks stay wet just a little longer than other inks, so you can actually heat emboss with them. So um, I wanted to make sure they were dry before I did some heat embossing on top of them. All right. And you can see that they're water reactive because I spritzed them with water. And then <clears throat> now I'm just going to use one of these amazing stamp sets from Colorado Craft Company. This is from the Savvy Sentiments line. They have uh, lots of lines. They have the Savvy Sentiments as one. We have a new artist this year. Her name is Chris Lauren. She does some whimsical little creatures. Um, and then we have some big and bold items, which we'll play with as well tonight. And you've seen probably lovely legs. But here is a, uh, another big and bold that we released this month. Here is another Savvy Sentiments. It's just a quick card. These are called quick cards. Yeah, quick cards small. And this one is called the quick cards large. And then this is the Anita Jerome line. She's a famous uh, artist, children's book artist. And she does, uh, we have a license with her to produce her art as stamps. And these are the ones you saw me use in uh, yesterday's um, show the the uh, my my session yesterday. Okay, so let's show you how I did this. I'm going to take a panel of cardstock before we stamp it out. I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to grab. Let's see. I've got lots of different ink blending tools here. This one is a pink and main brush which I really really love for this because it's going to I'm going to make a large a rather large um, blending front so a panel so I'm going to use a lot of ink and I'm going to use this one because it has this great flat surface on it and I can use I can get this done without like um what, what would you call it? Not creases, but just like streaks in my blending. I just love those. I, Catherine Pooler has her own brand as well that work beautifully. So let's come in and we'll do this deck the halls and glitz combo here. I think it, no, not glitz. It's martini. Deck the halls and martini. And we'll start with deck the halls. Let's grab us. Uh, I think for this one, I actually used my Catherine Pooler brush. So I'm just going to take it and get a healthy amount of ink on there. Start off the page. I do want a dark, dark, dark starting point. You see those streaks there? That's what I was talking about those streaks. Brush but, marks. Yeah, brush marks. I'm going to get those brush marks out of there because. Um, I want that all to be really dark anyway. So, but the, the way to avoid that, actually, if you, if you want to avoid it, use a, a flatter brush there or just be softer. And I'll show you, watch as I go, as I do this more softly, those brush marks kind of go away, but I also don't get as much ink on my paper. So it's going to take a lot longer to do. Right. So as I go, just keep inking up my brush. Try to get it nice and inky here. I like the saturated look. I really like the the darker, really darker saturated looks on my card panels. I don't know if that's because it's probably just my style. Maybe guys like things darker and not as soft. I don't know. This guy doesn't. <laughs> and then I'm just going to keep going down and down and down. Did you say something, Brandy? No, I'm just giggling at you. Oh, okay, you're just laughing at me. <laughs> okay. So as we go over... 
There we go. So I've got a nice gradient there, and you might like it just like that. I mean, I like it like that too. I want to come in, clean this off, because I don't want to contaminate my martini beginning with my dark ink. So let me show you a quick way to clean off these brushes as soon as I grab my my rag here. Thought I had my rag handy. Just a sec. Brandy, did you move my rag? <laughs> this yeah. is actually part of my show, guys. I always yeah. I always move something. Here it is. I always move something and then laugh and try to find it. Okay, so here's a trick in cleaning out these brushes. I have this great little positively something from Simon Says Stamp. I don't even know the name of this. But uh, I like to just take a microfiber cloth. It doesn't have to be beautiful or anything. I just spritz it with a little bit of water. And then I take my brush, and that thing just stays right in place over my glass mat. And I get all that ink out of there. And the little grooves and things on here kind of keep, uh, keep the, knock that ink right out of the brush. So once I've got the ink out of there, and I want to dry this a bit, I can just move to a dry corner of my rag. And then pull that off like that. And I've got a nice dry brush now pretty cool and that was free advice right there that was just a free <laughs> thing i shared with you all right so then i'm gonna press my martini i wish i had a martini right now my no i'd rather have a margarita that's what i'd rather have <laughs> press it my, on my glass mat my favorite things was on uh last night and they did a um a die cut set with all kinds of different beverage type Ooh. glasses like martinis and daiquiris and stuff. And so we were talking about, you know, what's our favorite. And of course, you know, I had to say since I'm in Kentucky, it's got to be some sort of bourbon cocktail. Oh, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't drink it straight, but I do, I do like um, uh, a paper plane with a uh, lemon juice and Aperol liqueur and, Buffalo Trace is my favorite bourbon. So fancy. No, I know. You are you are fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I have I mean, I like margaritas, but I'm I think I'm allergic to tequila and that's really sad. I think I get like I get really itchy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't drink. I'm not a heavy drinker anyway, so I'm not a teetotaler, but I'm not a heavy drinker. There we go. Look at that beautiful panel. If I do say so myself, mm -hmm. I think it's just delicious. It looks like it could be an apple teeny. There you go. How mm -hmm. did we get on the, the topic of drinks? We, it know. seems like it always happens on my show. <laughs> All right. Now I'm just going to take my Tim Holtz sprayer, just kind of drip water on there, spritz it. And you can see that ink reacting with that water super cool reaction there and then i'll set that aside to dry of course i won't be using this panel today on my live because i've already created a panel and dried it and flattened it and everything for you so look at this set of stamps this set of stamps is a one you can switch out pieces on to create a unique greeting card, many different combinations. So we have, we wish you a Merry Christmas or have yourself a Merry Little Christmas or may your days be merry and bright. Oh, there it is, and bright, right? Then merry everything. Uh, Merry Christmas. You could just do 
whatever you like, right? Lots of little options there. I've chosen for this one to do, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now, I have two different embossing powders I'm going to use tonight. One is the gold glitter from Hero Arts. The other one is white puff from, I can't get that to focus there. Focus. There we go. Focus. You have to sit still. Anyway, it's white puff. You can trust me. <laughs> I have to be still. <laughs> All right. And then um, Marianne Samuelson, my friend, she did develop this brush here for embossing uh, anti-static powder. It's called the Cottontail Tool. Is and that from... Um... Um, rabbit hole design. Rabbit hold. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to brush this on. I like to get, she says you don't have to have a lot on there, but I like to have a lot on there. I like to see the, the powder on there, and then I just brush it off later. But for this one, I'm going to use some Versamark ink. Ink up my stamps here. and stamp away. Let's see. Make sure. I like to do that twice. So I'm gonna stamp that one more time. Just always make sure that thing is tucked in the corner again. The panel, the panel is stuck in the corner. And then, wow, it's just beautiful. Can't wait to see what this looks like when I melt this embossing powder over it. So let's get this white puff, a piece of scrap paper, and we'll just pour this right over the top. And then I like to wiggle, wiggle to get all of that embossing powder tucked down into all the little nooks and crannies of my stamp sentiment. And look how beautifully that it lays on there. So nice. So very nice. I'm just amazed that Brandy doesn't have that wonderful Midlands accent from Kentucky. Well, I'm actually from Iowa by way oh. of Texas. That's and, why. Mm -hmm. So I've got lots of different accents. <laughs> you could do all of them, can't you? Yep. Me too. All right. Now let's melt this puff embossing powder. Wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope everyone's getting their Christmas card designs down, getting their plans all set. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Daniel, do you uh, listen to TikTok at all or watch TikToks at all? What'd you say? Do you watch any TikToks? I do. So when you were talking just a few seconds ago about wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle, <laughs> it made me think of that um, song yeah. that's going around. That's Money why don't I said it. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> My embossing powder don't wiggle, wiggle, it folds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We crack each other up. Okay, I think we're all melted. And the reason I like this pop, this uh, puff embossing powder for Christmas things, it just reminds me of snow. So I don't know if you can see it real well. If I hold it up there, and it will 
focus. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Right there. there. Stop. Don't move. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That puffy, is pretty. Puffy I love I love that font pairing the the script with the um the regular font. It's really nice. Isn't that nice? What a great stamp set. Uh, whoever designed it, and I'm pretty sure it was my friend Amy Kennedy. It's just a beautiful stamp set. Just so versatile, fun. And what I'm going to do is just make a one layer card with this and just pop that right on the front with some glue. Here I have some liquid adhesive. This is Hero Arts precision glue in the XL size. Let's see if I can. I think I need to unclog it here. There we go. And we can just pop that right up on the front here. Press it down. Some people are asking me where in Iowa I'm from. Uh, oh. I'm from Sioux City. Sioux City, Sioux City. Iowa. Why? Yep. Never been there. Yep. It's on the west side of the Iowa, right on the Missouri River. Some of my ancestors settled up into Iowa, then into Nebraska. Yeah, I have uh, family in Nebraska, too. Ponca. Ponca, huh? My, my people are from Ponca. Wow. Wow. Okay, there it is. There Beautiful. it is. It's just a quick card, right? Isn't that loverly? All right, That's let's pretty. go on to our next panel. I'm not going to ink blend all these panels. I don't have time. But for this one, I used Flirty Fuchsia and, let's see, Uptown. Flirty Fuchsia and Uptown. There we go. It's a very wintry color mix. Mm, I love how when you brought those two together, that made that kind of a blue, darker yeah. blue color. Isn't that cool? It's mm -hmm. a third color. Yep. Beautiful card. Beautiful card panel. All right. Let's just uh, take this and we'll switch out one of these or a couple of these. We can do We Wish You a Merry Christmas. We'll take the We Wish You Out. And then we can put in the have yourself a, right? Just pop that in right there. Let's get it in there, right? Have yourself a Mary, and we'll need to take this one out and pop in little Christmas. Little move it down a little bit there. Little and then Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yule time. Gay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Put that right there. And then pop in our panel. What do you think, Brandy? Should I put the flirty fuchsia up top or yep. on the bottom? No. Other way. Okay. Yep. There we go. Your wish is my command. Powder this baby up. And then get our Versamark ink out. Oh, my magnet is in the way. Three ink that. Oh, 
Let's do it one more time, just for a good measure. Okay. We can go ahead and do our white puff ink on this one as well. So I think I'm going to do my gold embossing powder on the other one. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> My card ah. does fold, actually. <laughs> and it wiggle, wiggles. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I am obsessed with TikTok right now. My wife does not really like the fact that I have this obsession. But oh, I, no. <laughs> I actually have been learning a lot of um, different techniques and stuff. I'm kind of wanting to get into illustrating and drawing on yeah. my own. And they've got a lot of short little tutorials on there about There's how to draw stuff and stuff. On there. Yeah. I'll watch it online some, but I don't have the app on my phone because I oh. would spend too much time there. <laughs> I think the experience is much better on the on the app um it's not yeah. the same as it is um on the on the desktop but yeah i i have to limit myself you know five ten minutes at a go um and just you know kind of veg out for a little bit yeah So we do have a discount code for everyone. We do. Do you want me to share it here or do you want yes, to? Yes, I do want you to share it. All right. Hold on. Let me make sure this is nice and melty. How exciting to be able to share a discount code. Yeah. And that discount code is. Oh, hold on one second, though. We've got to pull, put it up on the uh, on the screen real quick. Oh. Can you um can you put type in the private chat what it is? Sure. Um, yep. Yeah, and then we'll get a banner on it. Found it. Thank you. All right. Let's we will get um uh, we will get Not with um, Todd, that. With code. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. We'll we'll get it up on the on screen just a second. Let Harriet do her magic. All right. And let's just pop this on the front of a card base here. All right, just make sure you put it on the right way. <laughs> oh, how many times have we done that for sure? A bazillion. Yes. Okay, sometimes it's a quick fix, right? But sometimes it's not. There we go. And because this is actually heat embossed the paper is a little bit warped and you have to kind of maneuver and then hold it down until it sets you know but that's okay that's part of paper crafting right and mm -hmm. then you can see some of the white edges peeking out off of the ends and the sides i just trim that right up with my tim holtz trimmer Let's make sure that's nice and there we go. Just grab my trimmer out. It's another one of the tricks of the trade, right? When you mm -hmm. <laughs> when your card's not square or it's not 
Exactly. It's hanging off the edge. And nobody will know. No one will ever know. No one will know. No one will ever know. That's another TikTok thing, right? <laughs> Have you seen those? Uh-uh. No one's going to know. <laughs> I saw a pantry, like a full butler's pantry, hidden behind this panel in the kitchen of this person's house. And you would never know it was there unless they opened that up and did it for you. Oh, Isn't that just I got fun? You. Look at that. That's pretty. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. That's awesome. All right, so we got one more. One more to do. And this one is, the combo here is Cranberry Fizz and Glitz. There we go. So when you mix those together, you get this nice orange here. So there's this beautiful yellow orange down here orange here and then this deep red up here nice lovely lovely okay so let's pop this one in and we'll get another card out of this one let's do merry and bright merry and bright i just love those font combinations aren't they beautiful and you said that um, Adrian create um, designed that. I think Amy did these. Oh, Amy did. Yeah, okay. She designs. She designs the the stamp sets and scripts and stuff. I guess. I wonder if she I'm, hand hand lettered that Mary. I don't know if she did that or not. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I know she. What I mean by design is she puts the design together, like all the the uh, the words and the concept of switching mm -hmm. things out and stuff. Yep. Know. Mm -hmm. Harry, All right. Looks Brock. like um, Harriet has done her magic and she's got the code up on the screen. So you're going to want to go to um, the link that's scrolling across. And it looks like it is at stampmesomelove.com forward slash Colorado Craft Company. And you're going to use the code holiday cards 15 to get 15% off. This is one of those 48 hour promo codes. So it will expire on Sunday at eight o'clock. So make sure that you go in and grab that, um, grab your stuff. And it looks like that um, Colorado Craft is um, selling a lot of different brands too. So if you've got something that you're looking for, maybe some of those Catherine Pooler inks, you can yeah. you know, save on shipping and get it all at one place. Absolutely. Excellent idea. Save on shipping and save. I mean, Catherine's inks just don't go on sale hardly any time ever. So no, they like do once not. a year, maybe she'll get she'll give a discount because they're just so they're hot sellers I and mean, they don't really they need are. a discount to sell. Sometimes, right? sometimes she shows some mercy. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, well, she she did an awesome sale for our demo day uh, in June, and she told us then that you know she doesn't typically do it. So no, nope. If you if you can find a sale at a different vendor, grab it. Totally worth it. If you don't have any Catherine Pooler inks, I'm telling you, you're missing out. They are super fun. All right, now we're going to do some gold glitter on this one. Ooh, that's going to be gold pretty. Gold glitter embossing powder. All right. Um, some of the folks are asking, what was the color combo on this card? This one is um, Cranberry Fizz and Glitz. I think in the if you can find the supplies list for this episode or this yeah thing. it'll be on They're the shop the summit um, page so yeah, cardmakersuccesssummit.com yeah. forward slash shop the summit you'll find all of the products that he's using today okay and then there's my lid before i make a mess of this Mm -hmm. Or worse, you uh, heat emboss it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the in the jar. Right. <laughs> Blow a ton of it out and then melt the rest. Yeah.
Look at it go. Oh, it's magic. It is so satisfying to watch that change. Always fun. Wow, look at that. All right, I just saw um, Harriet type a note that she's adding products to to the shopping list as she's seeing them if they're not already on the list. So refresh the page and you will get direct links to it. Isn't that beautiful? So that is pretty, really pretty. And it's a non-traditional Christmas color set, you mm -hmm. know. Love it, love it. Now, I've got All some right. embossing powder glitter over here. I'm just going to pick that up with some some leftover tape that I have. Oh, what a what a great idea! Just a tip, another free tip, guys. I'm yeah, full of you're full of them. I'm full of it. I've been told <laughs> that many times. <laughs> All right, my friend, we are coming to the end, I believe. All right, and we've got a giveaway to get. Awesome. So I'm going to share the screen with you All while right. you're working, and let me pull out our giveaway from Colorado Craft Company. Always so kind to us. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do my overhead camera. All right, so we're going to be giving away this bundle here. And this is the Anita Jerem line. I think uh, Daniel talked a little bit about them uh, a few minutes ago. But these are um, the little critters, and it's all about art. So this one is the little um, bunny rabbit painting. And then the, here are some mice painting on flowers and this little one. So this bundle is going to go to drum roll. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's see here. Okay, this one is going to Chris, and that's K-R-I-S spelled. Last name starts with a W and ends with an R. All right, Chris, we'll be emailing you on Monday. Be sure to check your inbox or your spam folder. All right. Awesome. Those are pretty, really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Yes. The, the one um, on the left-hand side, the red and the orange color, at first glance, the Mary looked like the Harry Potter um, font. Oh. I, don't, I don't know why it reminded me of the Harry Potter font, but yeah. Nice. Nice. Super fun script. Yes. All right. Let me see your beautiful face before we close out. All right. Here I am. Yay. I can't wait to see you in person, my friend. I know. We're going to have fun. We're going to have lunch on Federal Hill probably. Yes. <laughs> Will it be too early to drink then, I wonder? It's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to Daniel, but not for long. We will see you actually on Sunday because you're going to be part of our speaker panel. So nice. yep. that's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right. Nice. All right. Thank you so much to Colorado Craft Company for sponsoring the Card Maker Success Summit. And thank you to Daniel for coming on and representing. Woo woo. My pleasure. All right. Thank you, Brandy. We'll talk, we'll talk to you soon. All bye right. Bye. bye. All right, you guys, that was so much fun. I love crafting with Daniel, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun together when we actually meet in person for the first time and do a live from his uh, Stampin' Studio. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's see if there's anything else that I need to check off my list before we get going. And let's see, Harriet's going to... Tell me what I'm missing. Uh, first up tomorrow morning at nine o'clock is going to be Nick Lupu Carianus. And uh, oh, 
Thank you, Harriet. Harriet's telling me that I have a few giveaways that I have not given away, so we better do that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we've got some, uh, let's remember, bring it into the screen so we can take a look here. I'm glad she reminded me, otherwise I'd be stacked up tomorrow trying to give these products away. All right, so let's move that um, panel down, if you don't mind, uh, the banner. And then we're gonna go overhead. All right, so we're gonna be doing, uh, looks like two of these bundles from um, Tombow. And Tombow's given us a permanent um, adhesive runner, some glue sticks, and their alcohol, ABP, ABT Pro alcohol base markers in the green tones. We're gonna give away two of them, two bundles. And let's see, the first one is gonna go to Cass, uh, last name starts with a W and ends with an R, and Cass is spelled C-A-S-S. -S. Our next one is going to go to Gail, G-A-Y-L-E. Last name starts with a W and ends with an N. All right, let me mark that off. All right. Next, we are going to give the, uh, we're going to give away a VIP all access pass. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Let's do it. All right. So our winner for the VIP all access pass is Deborah, D-E-B-R-A. Last name starts with an M and ends with a Y. And Deborah, if you've already purchased your VIP All Access Pass, we will refund you. No worries on that. All right, let me make sure I'm good on that. Okay, I think that's it until tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, we will see uh, Nick Lufu carry on. Carry, I just said it right just a few minutes ago. I may have to look at the name. Is it still up here? Lupu Carianus. Yes, that is correct. I actually asked him to uh, voice record his pronunciation so I didn't butcher it. So I'm pretty sure that is right. Nick Lupu Carianus. And he's going to be here bright and early, nine o'clock in the morning. I'm going to be sending out an email this evening with a kind of a replay of what we did today, any promo codes that we've got, and also um, links to those. Uh, presentations, worksheets. If you weren't able to view those videos earlier today, go ahead and try again and just see if we can um, get those viewed. All right, you guys, I am going to head out and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.